Oh, wait. Payday 3 hands on? No shot in the dark. I want to see this. Payday 3 first hands on preview. Bro, oh, I'm so excited for this, man. I always like a good heist. Payday's fun. I, I don't know uh, how it's going to be nowadays. I haven't played Payday in forever, but I feel like it could come back now. And the interesting little, like, turrets and shit should be enough for it to pop off, surely. This is a robbery. The Payday Gang is back for Payday Surely. 3, and this time they're in New York City pulling off the most daring heists. The setting change up from Washington DC to Payday 2 is supposed to be an enormous living breathing world that aims to add new layers to the gameplay experience. Dallas, Hoxton, Wolf, and Chains are on the returning cast roster and the story is picking up where it left off. Our favorite heisters are coming back from retirement. Oh yeah. That was a turret. Holy to play two heists during the preview, Capital Bank and Surface Art Gallery. Capital Bank was your pretty standard heist where you go in and try to grab all the cash you can while also reaching your goal of infiltrating the larger vault and getting a bigger cash out. Surface Classic. Art Gallery, on the other hand, was an interesting twist on the heist system with the goal being to steal some of the displayed art in the museum, Mission Impossible style. Oh, Capital shit. Bank felt like a familiar return to the payday two days. During Right, that one's more of like a stealthy in and out. During the preview right. play period, I was teamed up with two devs and one other journalist. Dropping us into the game immediately was a bit overwhelming. For context, we were dropped into matches without playing the tutorial mode. So I'm sure this won't be as overwhelming to day one players, but there are definitely way more elements to Payday 3 that- Oh, wait, wait, the way she dropped in. The way she dropped in, do you have to like set up around the bank now? Maybe that's a thing. Maybe they want you to like, miss around the block a little more out playing the tutorial mode so i'm sure this won't be as overwhelming to day one players but there are definitely way more elements to payday 3 that can get to be a lot to remember especially if you're just going off what payday 2 felt like we attempted to try the quieter method of stealthing but because of the confusion of what the new heist phase was we ended up triggering security and just going <laughs> guns blazing this Classic. was kind of the theme for the entire play session even though we did get a grasp of the new concepts and mechanics, the actual stealth play is extremely difficult and really punishing if you make the slightest mistake. I'm all for a challenge, but it was unfortunate that we didn't really get to experience a proper stealth playthrough during my hour of hands-on time. The few times we got the furthest in stealth gameplay, it was really cool to find different key cards through pickpocketing guards or unlocking rooms to access safes that have documents containing info on where security breaches would be the safest. The concepts of stealthing in this heist game that's all about high-octane action are really cool. Cool, but I worry that most people won't be able to experience that very much, since most people are used to just going guns blazing from the jump. Most yeah. players won't have the <laughs> yeah. to move really slowly and deliberately yeah. to set up- Bruh, it's gonna be hard trying to do a spy type run on like an open lobby. Brother, one guy is gonna fuck the whole thing up. <laughs> it's straight ruined. Intro when it feels like you'll just eventually have to go loud once the heist really swings into gear because a single mistake from anyone will guarantee an immediate alert. Damn. Speaking of going loud, the Capital Bank heist has you throwing thermite to breach the vault walls while fighting off waves of law enforcement who get increasingly beefier as time goes on. You start with fighting standard cops, then SWAT-like members who have heavier armor and riot shields, and then you'll battle a terrifying division of special ops returning from Payday 2. I mean, it's just locals. brute. These guys got an upgrade in Payday Bro, that guy was like turned into a fucking charger and just started eating everything with the fucking armor. No shit. The what These guys the got fuck? an upgrade in Payday 3 and they can mask themselves and go invisible and reappear wielding blades that can knock you on your ass with one hit. Once you do make your way into the oh. vault, you actually have to take even more time to make sure you deactivate the security ink pods that will explode if you try to steal the cash under it without successfully deactivating them, rendering the money useless and uncollectible. Once your team has all the cash loaded up in their bags, you can make your way out to the streets and start your escape. The art gallery heist, meanwhile, was a lot of fun since it was a new environment and gave off an Ocean's Eleven vibe. Stealthing here was pretty difficult too, since this map requires you to That's climb cool. around if you want to find a quiet way into the art museum. The gameplay loop was similar to Capital Bank, but instead of cash, you steal paintings or small statues and you have to verify which piece of art is the one you're looking for. For instance, one of the objectives was to validate the real painting from fake copies by getting a blue light tool to check for blood that was only on the real paintings. Once validated, you cut through the glass on the display like a true art thief and make away with treasure. I enjoyed the gameplay and environment way more in the art gallery and the actual museum has a few levels and exhibits you have to navigate through. Hilariously, you'll actually end up using the you are here maps and the levels a lot to figure out where to go as if you're actually visiting a real museum. 
When things inevitably go sideways, cool. negotiation is by far the most interesting part of Payday. That's kind of annoying, but cool. It's like, where the fuck am I? And you gotta actually use the map. And not like the inbuilt, like a built-in map. It's like a built-in map. You know what I mean? Like, it's a part of the map. The map is the map, you know? You're able to actually negotiate with the police using your hostages trapped in that building with you. So you have to manage the hostages while also raiding the bank or museum you're stealing from. You can use hostages as body shields since security won't shoot you if you're holding an innocent person, Classic. or you can choose to release a few hostages to buy you some more time for the heist. Overall, I'm pretty excited to play Payday 3 again, especially with the same, same friends I played Payday 2 with, and relive some old memories in a modern setting. Payday 3 True. is also going to be cross-platform and cross-progression, so you can play anywhere and with anyone you want. It's set to have quite a bit of post-launch content updates as well, like new characters, heists, weapons, and updated skills and challenges. So hopefully there's a good flow of new stuff to keep players invested. Payday 2 had 20 DLC packs after launch, so it's not a huge worry of mine. For more on Payday 3, don't miss the recent <laughs> release date. I think they even had Snoop Dogg in one of them, actually. Bro, that's crazy. That shit is exciting. And I don't know if my brain is like bugging. It might be. But, like, this game looks massive to me. Like, my brain wants to play this shit so bad. Like, it might just be a whole nostalgia thing. Because this m probably... Uh, not my first game. It's one of my first games. Like, one of my first five games I ever bought on my PC. Like, I remember playing TF2 and then buying this and playing this for a good bit on a shitty PC. Like, an HP or whatever. That could barely even run it. But it was a classic... And I love bank heists, movies, operations, and games and shit. Like, I love a good old bank heist. So, you know, this is a this is a classic in my brain. It is a classic. So, I'm pretty hyped for that one. Should be pretty fun. Surely. 